when I move these onto a property this year, that's going to be a question that I ask. I, I currently ask, do you have livestock? Let's keep them 300 uh, yards away if we can. And mm -hmm. here's why. But um, but now I'm going to ask, do you intend to get livestock as well? <laughs> I know uh, a couple of years ago, it seems like about this time of the year, I always get a call, someone with their show pigs and the bees are on their feet. The pig call, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and you know, it's interesting because like you, you don't ever think of this, but anything that is a plant-based protein in a powder form, they'll go after. Yeah. And I used to be a ranch hand for a guy named Joe Sagabill, and he's actually a Texas A&M. He was a professor at Texas A&M, and he had his master's in genetics and his PhD, and I think animal science. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, they got a building over there at AM and named after him. Mm -hmm. um, but I worked for him and I'd mix feed for him. Mm -hmm. And we had about, I think it was 20,000 pounds of brewer's yeast. And you know, this is just a big pile of feed on a concrete floor that you yeah. and you measure out the increments and throw it into a hopper and mix it with other ingredients. And there would be thousands of bees on that pile of brewer's yeast, yeah. right? which is just cast away pro plant protein from brewing beer or whatever. And so we use that for our protein content in the feed, right? And every day it was funny because it'd be 40 degrees in the morning and then it'd reach about mid morning hit about 55 to 56 degrees and you would see one bee fly in <laughs> and on the pile and they do this little dance because they're trying to put the feet on their you know their legs the feet, yeah and then he'd leave and you could time it out be about four or five minutes they gather up their pollen and within about 20 minutes there'd be a few hundred Within 40 minutes, there'd be the, the thousand, and you'd have to walk in there with them all around you to scoop feed. Uh, and they're not after you, you know, but they're just there in the yeah. way. And, you know, you get stung because they'd be on a bucket handle or whatever, and you wouldn't see them, and you grab the handle and get stung or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind.